Patriotism or national pride is the feeling of love, devotion and sense of attachment to a homeland, and a sense of alliance with other citizens who share the same sentiment. This attachment can be a combination of many different feelings relating to one's own homeland, including ethnic, cultural, political or historical aspects. It encompasses a set of concepts closely related to, but mutually exclusive from those of nationalism. Some manifestations of patriotism emphasize the land element in love for one's native land and utilize the symbolism of agriculture and the soil. Compare Blut und Boden. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Terminology and usage. An excess of patriotism in the defense of a nation is called chauvinism, another related term is jingoism. The English term patriot is first attested in the Elizabethan era, it came via Middle French from late Latin 6th century patriata, meaning countrymen, ultimately from Greek, modern patriots, patriots meaning from the same country, from patris, patris meaning fatherland. The abstract noun patriotism appears in the early 18th century. History The general notion of civic virtue and group dedication has been attested in culture globally throughout the historical period. For the Enlightenment thinkers of 18th-century Europe, loyalty to the state was chiefly considered in contrast to loyalty to the church. It was argued that clerics should not be allowed to teach in public schools since their pattery was heaven, so that they could not inspire love of the homeland in their students. One of the most influential proponents of this classical notion of patriotism was Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Enlightenment thinkers also criticized what they saw as the excess of patriotism. In 1774, Samuel Johnson published The Patriot, a critique of what he viewed as false patriotism. On the evening of the 7th of April 1775, he made the famous statement, "Patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel." James Boswell, who reported this comment in his Life of Johnson, does not provide context for the quote, and it has therefore been argued that Johnson was in fact attacking the false use of the term patriotism by contemporaries such as John Stuart, 3rd Earl of Butte, the Patriot Minister, and his supporters. Johnson spoke elsewhere in favor of what he considered true patriotism. However, there is no direct evidence to contradict the widely held to belief that Johnson's famous remark was a criticism of patriotism itself. Philosophical issues Patriotism may be strengthened by adherence to a national religion a civil religion or even a theocracy. This is the opposite of the separation of church and state demanded by the Enlightenment thinkers who saw patriotism and faith as similar and opposed forces. Michael Billig and Jean Bethke Elstein have both argued that the difference between patriotism and faith is difficult to discern and relies largely on the attitude of the one doing the labeling. Christopher Heath Wellman, professor of philosophy at Washington University in St. Louis, describes that a popular view of the patriotist position is robust obligations to compatriots and only minimal Samaritan responsibilities to foreigners. Wellman calls this position patriotist rather than nationalist to single out the members of territorial political units rather than cultural groups George Orwell in his influential essay notes on nationalism distinguished patriotism from the related concept of nationalism by patriotism i mean devotion to a particular place and a particular way of life which one believes to be the best in the world but has no wish to force upon other people patriotism is of its nature defensive both militarily and culturally Nationalism, on the other hand, is inseparable from the desire for power. The abiding purpose of every nationalist is to secure more power and more prestige, not for himself but for the nation or other unit in which he has chosen to sink his own individuality. <laughs> Voltaire quote It is lamentable, that to be a good patriot one must become the enemy of the rest of mankind. Topic. Marxism Marxists have taken various stances regarding patriotism. On one hand, Karl Marx famously stated that, "...the working men have no country," and that, 
the supremacy of the proletariat will cause them national differences to vanish still faster." The same view is promoted by present-day Trotskyists such as Alan Woods, who is, "...in favor of tearing down all frontiers and creating a socialist world commonwealth." On the other hand, Stalinists and Maoists are usually in favor of socialist patriotism based on the theory of socialism in one country. Region-specific issues In the European Union, thinkers such as Jürgen Habermas have advocated a «Euro-patriotism», but patriotism in Europe is usually directed at the nation-state and more often than not coincides with «Euroscepticism». Surveys <inaudible> 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 Several surveys have tried to measure patriotism for various reasons, such as the Correlates of War Project which found some correlation between war propensity and patriotism. The results from different studies are time-dependent. For example, patriotism in Germany before World War I ranked at or near the top, whereas today it ranks at or near the bottom of patriotism surveys. Since 1981, the World Values Survey explores people's national values and beliefs and refer to the average answer. For high-income residents of a country to the question, are you proud to be insert nationality? It ranges from one not proud to four very proud. <laughs> See also